Bill Science Lab, sponsored by ESB's Generation Tomorrow program, supporting initiatives that help young people develop key skills in science, technology, engineering, arts and maths. Now, if you're looking for an activity to entertain and educate your kids this morning, our resident scientist, Phil Smith, joins us. And with May the 4th just gone, we decided to... That's the Star Wars day, by the way. And we decided to look at a different kind of force this morning. Isn't that right, Phil? Good morning. How are you? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm still laughing at the joke. It was fantastic. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's a myriad of emotions. I'm crying looking at the wedding and they're laughing with some jokes. It's, it's a roller coaster. <laughs> Um, you, ha you well look after last week's um, less than successful attempt at musical instruments on my part, not but not on yours. You've gone quite simple yeah. here. I'm just seeing two juice cartons and some paper. So how hard can it be? Uh, no, this is like the most easy setup that we have, and we're going to look at something quite quite interesting. Like you said, forces how they're spread out. But uh, we had a great response to how when we were talking about the, the shapes and bridges and different things. So I thought we'd do a little bit more about mm. that. Um, very simple setup. All you're going to need for this is to, uh, uh, really some paper and something to put on top of it. Weights. I've used, we're going to use money today or batteries um, and uh, two cartons. So all I want you to do is put two cartons on the table, flat down on their sides, and then put a sheet of paper on top of it across the top. Like that. that? Okay. <laughs> Manage that. Manage that, Tommy. We're okay. Yeah. And that's where we leave it today. <laughs> I'm joking. So essentially what we're going to do is start is just testing how bridges are designed and how their forces are way just spread out. So, you know, single bridges like this aren't necessarily that strong. All mm -hmm. I want you to do is to take one of the, uh, the weights. Now, you can use either one of the batteries or a single 50-cent piece. And we're going to see if we can put that on top of the sheet of paper without it collapse. Bang, gone. Yeah, same for me. Same for you. Fantastic. So that's literally, it's not strong enough to hold it up. So what yep. we're going to do is to design, do some engineering, construct uh, a way for it to stay up. So we're going to take one sheet of paper and put it in it like an arch. You can see on mine there. So the other way around, Tommy. Uh, that's, it. <laughs> that's fantastic. So like an arch is that you'd normally see on the bridge, the bottom side panel, and then put another sheet of paper on top of it. Okay. So you're left with, it looks like, quite like a bridge structure. That's perfect. And then we're going to try and put uh, another coin on top and see if it's able to sustain the weight. Just going to see if it works for you first, okay? So no pressure on me. Oh! Yes! So see if you, you know, so 50 cents are all standardized. Let's see how many you think you okay. can get for it to hold up. I've got two on mine. No, I've gone. <laughs> oh, okay, great. I mean, I'm literally doing it, the same as you. I, well, I know it's just not magic. I don't know. It's not magic in science. Uh, maybe I was just a little bit careful. I mean, told the thing by... is though, the of the arch underneath, so it spreads the weight out across. This okay. is exactly what we're doing with the point we're spreading it out. Um, and I have a, a, another way that we've, we've taken this inspiration from nature, of how we design things. And you should have an egg with you. That is quite, uh, this is actually one of my favorite experiments, it's really impressive. Eggs are always considered really fragile, that they'll break really easy. But if you take an egg and you hold it in between and you Put it in your hand like that, so it's a. Okay, can I stop you there, Phil? Does this does this item end with me with egg all over my face and and, and body and? <laughs> not what, not with this egg. There may be other ways that you'll be embarrassed, <laughs> but not through this. This okay. is the standard. Continue. Standard Continue. I promise I'll make yeah. you embarrassed with it. So with this, with the egg, and you're along the the longer side, and you put that one, the base bit in the middle of your hand, and your other finger over the top, and you try and squeeze it. Okay, hang like, on a you minute. You will find. Okay won't be able to squeeze it like you can see my finger it, i'm squeezing as hard as i can and i can't break the egg Re okay i okay. see is it breaking it's not yet You'll give it a, you put a bit more force into it Still, oh, come on it won't break it's it, it seriously it spreads the weight out so this is when we were doing the bridge we had one arch an egg is like an arch an arch an arch an arch because it's a dome shape so it spreads the weight out really good Nature designed eggs like this so that hens can sit or birds can sit on top of them without breaking them, spreading the weight. Or if it falls, the egg. Seriously, this, it's fantastic. It's no, it works. It works. Thing. I can't believe. It. I thought that, I thought this was a setup. I thought you and the producers no, have right. got together <laughs> to make me smash an egg live <laughs> no. on TV. But no, you're right. That's amazing, isn't it? Exactly. Can be very easily tried. So all this stuff today is like very simple stuff you have at home. We're going to try and build another bridge now in a slightly different way. You're going to take another sheet of paper. And all I want you to do with this one is to fold the edge 
along that side. So you'll have an edge like that. So you're taking along the long side and you're folding in about an inch and a half yeah. to put about two centimeters along one side and doing the same on the other side. And what we're doing by this uh, is we're adding a bit of rigidity to it. So you're kind of like making a kind of a U shape that's yeah. in it. And you're going to put that yeah. back over your gap. And we're going to do a retest again with the coins, our standardized weights to see how many this time we can. So we haven't got two sheets of paper this time, only one, but just two folds. So if you put them on this time, ah. see how many you can. Ah. Okay, explain that to me. Right, we're having to so this is to do with, you're adding, when you fold paper, you either add thickness or you add rigidity to it. So, oh, oh. I, went, I got Come on, five Phil. or six there. Sorry, I mean, okay. This so is how you do it. Yours, it's like, but it's all about buying, tinkering, trying something new. But when you fold paper, you add rigidity. So there's, it's really strong in one direction, but weak in another. So if we've done that, and we found out that two folds add strength and rigidity, I want you to kind of make a corrugated shape. So you're kind of going to go fold, okay. fold, fold, and fold. Okay. So you'll get a kind of a corrugated, like corrugated roofs. And, and corrugated roofs are actually quite strong for the, the thickness and the, uh, and the type of material that's used. So if we're doing and mimicking that same structure, so we're going back and forth to make kind of an accordion kind of style with the paper. Again, this is the simplest thing. You can try this at home with just a sheet of paper. Well, you know what, Phil? And it doesn't have can you do that really quickly? Because we're, we're right out of time. And of course, so you're left with left with this yep. corrugated shape. Put on top, if I add, there's, there's five or Brilliant. six, seven, eight, we nine, did it, ten, Phil. and put the egg, and we the egg on today. top, which is good. I Here didn't let you down. Success. Great. Scrambled egg for breakfast as well. Love it. Phil Smith, yep. thanks so okay. much for joining us this morning. <laughs> now, if you've been following our experiment this morning, we'd love to see some pictures. Send them into irelandam at virginmedia.ie or WhatsApp them to us. The number is 0896111111. Now, it's Destination Donegal on the programme this morning, more so than usual, because we're checking in with our favourite Danny Boy and fellow Donegal man Daniel O'Donnell is with us after nine. Stay with us. Phil Science Lab, sponsored by ESB's Generation Tomorrow program. Check out esb.ie forward slash generation tomorrow to start discovering.